got a special we got a special guest in the building and it's still black history month and it's still <laughs> <laughs> and it's still black history month and speaking of black he performed at the black gala opened up for the black gala this year yes sir crazy vibes by the way he went mario on them yeah right when mario if y'all missed yeah. it listen they weren't expected they, they wasn't they expecting was it that's a hey that's a tough cover that is a tough cover. tell me about it <laughs> tell me about it i could oh my god after that i was like down <laughs> down previous before that y'all seen him at the open mic where he went r&b mm -hmm. and then turned around and hit you with some Hip hop at the same time because the yeah. man can do both of them. Yeah, we got none other than my man, Just Viz. Yo, how you yeah. feeling, man? I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, awesome. I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I just, I just move out the hood. Oh, okay. Yep. Shout out. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I moved uh, in the hood. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I moved out the suburbs and went into the hood on the east side now. But anyway. Yeah, yeah but was, I'm, I'm he doing was amazing. partially out of our hills. And yeah, man, I was I was out there, but you know, got it still good <laughs> right, all the time. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, um, I like to start with like the background. Like, you know, I like to ask a question. Like, you know, when did you start doing music, and what motivated you? Where'd your name come from? Yeah. Well, I used to be into uh, Twitch, like I said. Yeah, I used okay. to be a streamer. I used to be a Call of Duty person. Like, I played for money. Oh, dope. But, and my name was Visuals. Don't know why. Dope. And then That's at a dope the same name, time, though. I just, I switched to Just Viz. Because you, yeah. you were like into the cameras and all, and into the, yeah. all that good stuff, too. Yeah. When y'all were talking earlier, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, this man knows his stuff. Knows his shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything yeah. about him, but I just sit back and just be listening. Like, You'd be oh, like okay. yeah, that's something about yeah. right. It's always a number, too. Like, hey, man. Y'all ever heard of the K thirteen thirty seven B? I be like, man, I don't know. I have never seen this guy, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, man, visuals, huh? Yeah. So do you still do you still play every now and then? Like, if it's a tournament, you hop on and uh, try to win some money or anything. Not Call of Duty. No, oh. I, I play. I play like Valorant, but with my album and stuff, I haven't really touched a video game in a month and a half. Crazy. Just work and music. Yeah, grind as much as I possibly can. Seen you dropped a lot of music in twenty two, <laughs> a lot of EPs. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, working. I dropped a total, I think, of forty nine songs. Ooh, yeah, that's crazy. Jeez, and that's because you chose to do it that way, or because you you basically got your own studio and you just said F it. Um, my whole thing is to be consistent. I love yeah. to be consistent because it. The more I try to do something, the better I get at it. Mm -hmm. And since this transition, this just started this year to hip hop, to songwriting. Yeah. I needed to keep making as much music as I can so I can develop. Like you guys seen it, I've done every genre mm -hmm. and might I say killed that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so when I transition to like this, like right now I'm trying to learn guitar, piano. Oh, like, yeah. That's a tough transit. Now nah, that's what's gonna sit you down. Should learn right. piano it's first. Gonna take time. Yeah, piano. Learn piano first. Oh yeah. Everything else transcribes after that. I know, that's man. True. I started getting callous on my yeah. face. Trying to fucking <laughs> thought I was gonna slice Guitar's my tits off, dude. Yeah. I was like trying to press down. How do you yeah. like do your chords? I was like, man, this shit sounds stupid. And that <laughs> like, changed the action stupid. on your guitar, bro. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is big time. I have five of them. Good. Yeah. Good. And I can't play any of them. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who who are your influencers? I know you like you, who like am you I said, influenced by the most. I mean, you can name a couple people, but like you said, your albums are very versatile. Like it can yeah. go from like a country sounding song to straight hip hop. It's yeah. Crazy. But who my are your influencers. Uh. Well, in R&B, Mario, okay. obviously. That's dope. That's, That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, hip hop. There's this underground artist named Khan that I've been fucking with my whole time. I started hip hop. He's like a, Khan is consequence. From, no, no, his no, name's Khan. It stands for <laughs> knowledge above all nonsense. He's a really dope lyricist. Ooh. He's one of the best I've ever heard. He has a condition where he like he can rap so fast, and since he's a fast rapper, he developed where he can breathe in and out his nose while he does it. That's fine. And I've tried to I do think it. The, and I, look I think stupid. little baby does that. I don't know. <laughs> like if y'all ever listen, it's like he doesn't take a breath. It's like how right. is he breathing like that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so Khan, my Khan, bad. Mario. Uh, Keisha Cole. Ooh. Um, That's different. Okay. Yeah. It's all over the place. I, I love well, it. I like I it. Love it I'm though. not good with naming songs or artists, but mm -hmm. my mom, throughout our whole lives, she, that's all she plays. 
Well, Mariah he's... Carey is the god of all goddess. Like, mm. <laughs> like she bought her book, never okay. read it. She just bought it just to say she had it. Yeah. yeah. And like, I don't know. She just that's all she played was R and B in the car. She wouldn't play anything else. Mm-hmm. But my dad, mm-hmm. he played everything. <laughs> Like I think he has a uh, a recording of me when I was like four years old, uh, singing "Every Day I'm Hustling" by Rick Ross. You were and four, I knew, singing yeah, that? and I knew all the words. Wait, wait, wait. That's I thought he that said "Every Damn feel... Hustling." Were you? Time out. Were I you feel four? so old now. Were you four when that came out, or that was just four when you was rapping it? I think four when I was rapping it. Damn. So we don't even know when that came out. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, where's all these years? Just, I just my head just went for a spin. I'm like, he was four singing. It felt like just yesterday. Right. Mm-hmm. Jeez, but anyway, and then so your dad was versatile with the music too. Right? Very yeah. well. Um, I don't know. My dad is he doesn't have the same music taste as me now. Mm-hmm. Like he'll listen to like like I love Eminem. I think he's a great artist. Mm-hmm. Like he's one of probably top ten for me. Mm-hmm. But me, I guess it's because since I was a rapper and getting compared to him and compared to him compared to me, mm-hmm. it kind of like lowered my standards for him. Mm-hmm. I still think mm-hmm. he's a great artist. But sometimes I don't be like, oh, I love Eminem, because then they're like, fucking pussy. Do you think, like, the, game, like, do, do you think the game can rap better than him? Fuck no. You don't think the game can rap better than Eminem? <laughs> no. The game oh thinks that. The, the game, game thinks. The that. game thought that for nine minutes straight. Mm-hmm. The, the game it was the nine minutes. <laughs> it was the nine minutes. <laughs> it was the nine minutes. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. He said like seven years earlier that he's like, oh man, I'll never fuck with a white boy. Mm, <laughs> yeah. He was like, man, what fuck the get? white boy. But I think I think hip hop con- controversy. I don't think they hate each other. I think it's all about clicks. Everything yeah. in hip hop game game is about clicks. Everything's yeah. about showing yourself that you're better, yeah. and that's why I changed out because mm. I developed an ego. Mm. As in, I want to be the best. Like I used to be on here, like man, <laughs> Toledo rappers ain't shit. Mm-hmm. And that's because I I devoted my whole time in hip hop into being the best lyricist, not being the best club making song, not being this, being the best lyricist. Uh, figuring out better cadence I can use. How fast can I spit this? But it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, having something that makes the hair stand on people's necks. Like when I, when I, that's why I love songwriting because I am so good at songwriting. I can make a story out of nothing. Mm-hmm. Like some of my songs, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but it sounds nice. Would mm-hmm. you consider yourself the White R. Kelly? <laughs> what the hell? It depends on what <laughs> instance you're talking about. Songwriting. I should. I should have put that in. <laughs> yes, yeah, there we go. No, yeah, there we go. Were you I can, there? I, didn't, I, can, I wasn't going. I can that make far, a song but... about a midget. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Too much. Bro. I was talking about songwriting because they say he's like the goat. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> but song songwriting is so much. It's so much more leveled out because I'm so. There's still hip hop in me. Mm-hmm. I could still switch over and be like, yeah, here you go. Mm-hmm. But it's it's the feeling that you get from singing that's difficult hip-hop i mean i've been i've been writing stuff down since like third grade mm. i got really good at rapping and not to be like ego see that's the egotistical coming shit coming not necessarily. out necessarily just that not necessarily i don't say that's egotistical. i've been i've been so devoted into it i dropped out of school for it i mm-hmm. did everything just to evolve around music because that's all i've ever had that's all me and my dad ever shared my mm-hmm. dad wasn't the best father growing up mm-hmm. and the only thing we had was music so i'd be like oh dad look i, I know you talked about that I on rapped, one of your albums i, I rapped this yeah. and he'll be like man this shit trash I'd be like, all right, give me five years. Mm-hmm. And so I show him, he like, man, you can rap better than me. I said, I could always rap better than you. <laughs> Even back then. <laughs> right. That's, that's where it started. It was the competition. Right. When we was listening to Rick Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> I feel old, man. You was four <laughs> rapping that? What? Hey, uh, so. I think I still had a beard. 2009 when is when they the video. Jeez. This is when the video came out? I don't know. if that, It just said 2009 on the video. The research that's department. probably when look at the YouTube research department. We, yeah. When was you when was you born? 2002. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Oh, yeah, about seven years. And damn, you was <laughs> you just what you were what a year out of high school. Year out of high school. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I was on my way into high school in 2002. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, <laughs> I was a professor. <laughs> <laughs> Arnie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we, gotta, Arnie. we gotta get that. Damn. I know. I just thought as soon as you did, I was like, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> no, but yeah, music music is like it's always been the best part of my life. Me, like the only thing that gives me happiness in my like in life is family and music. 
Speaking of family, I know you just said that uh, your dad raps. Is there any other people that like do music in your family? Like, do your mom sing? My mom does sister? sing. Okay. You know she said Mariah Carey. That's a I tough, love that's my a mom to death. She tries to sing. Okay. I love her to death. Be careful. She might be watching. <laughs> she might be knocking at the door right now. <laughs> yeah. No, my mom. My mom was a. She's a great woman. But okay. growing up, I was so locked in confinement. My mom was a very strict parent. If mm-hmm. I was if I was fucking up, she's gonna let me know. Mm-hmm. And so is my dad. And so I guess the reason I developed music and started writing was because that's the only thing I could get my words out. I was so young, I didn't know how to argue. I didn't know how to. And if I did, I was scared. Mm-hmm. So writing down music was a way to be like, okay, I can let it out. Yeah. But it could stay between me. And now that I'm my mom has took me to she paid, I think, like fifteen hundred bucks to take me to America's Got Talent. Dope, and dope. I and I went through. Then COVID mm. hit, mm. and they chose a dude in a an old guy who does mime in like a mime. You, this shit's dumb, dude who does <laughs> mime and old. It, this is this exclusive. dude's like seventy two, and I was like, oh, he ain't gonna make it. And my mom's like, oh no, it's all about like clicks. He's gonna make it through, and I was like, nah. He had a story. Yeah, yeah it's, it's usually about the background yeah. story because we like. Jeez, that I might think be right. My uh, in laws, some of my in laws went. To they try it out for the American Got Talent, mm-hmm. didn't make it. Well, with the background story, they won't they won't record it until they get you down in L.A. Mm-hmm. Well, but they but you type out something when you send in your um, application, don't you? I went in person. Oh shit! Yeah, I went in person. There was like three thousand people there. It was over in um, how far did you Kentucky? Make it? I went to so when you first go in, there's there's a there's it's split into like 25, 15 groups depending on what if you need a piano, if you need if you can't fit in the room. Mm-hmm. So I went there, and this was when I first started rapping. <laughs> I was like. Not first started rapping, but when I first got into like, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. Okay. I was about 14, 15. I just dropped a song that I did with Fireflies called Make It. Mm-hmm. And who who uh, was the engineer on that? Brett. <sighs> yeah, man. The name comes up. That the name goat. comes up every time. Oh, and, my um, goodness. And it was a good song. Yeah. I liked the song. He was, Brett, he, was a, he was a great. Oh, yeah. He Brett melodyned Magic. the shit out of my vocals. <laughs> Hey. Red magic. <laughs> Dude. Red you, magic. That's you, a major key. Can you, can you explain what Melodyne is for the for the people? Melodyne is basically a more precise auto tune. Melodyne yeah. will key out. Say your voice is in out of tune. There's a scale on the the chords, C major, A, G, E, D, all that. And if it's detuned, you can just raise it up, change the vibrato so it eases into it better, and it can make you sound good. If you're a bad singer, you're still gonna be bad. But well, it's gonna make you sound sad. a little bit better. We, we didn't see Brett do some surgery. Before. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Tell me about <laughs> it. Bad, I had to pay for an bad, extra session. Plastic Listen, surgery, and that's I'm, and I. Part of the reason why I love that song so much is because of that. What? Oh, the plastic on surgery. Our, no, on uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah uh-huh. on our mixtape. Yep. On our uh, mixtape. Uh, mix yeah. <laughs> because that magic that he did, I'm just like it's mixed so perfect. Anyway. Back to you, though, boy. Brett Magic, and, uh, man. Shout out to Brett. Brett is, Brett is an amazing dude. I worked with him for two years. You know he's a musician, too. Plays everything. Doesn't he, like, own it? Yeah, yeah that's he his spot. Yeah. Like, yeah, I remember seeing the mic, and I was like, bro, this, this, this mic pretty good. Like, Brett, if you're listening, that I... phantom. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he's like, I was like, where can I get this? He's like, oh, you can't get this, bro. I'm yeah, like, what do you mean? Brett got he's connects. Like, this, this is too much for you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Damn. but yeah, I went in America's Got Talent, and like I said, there's 15 20 people in the room, and this girl sung beautifully, beautifully. Mm-hmm. But like people say, I got the it factor, I'm a fat, chubby white boy, and when I go up to rap, they're not gonna I'm expect confidence it. as hell, yeah. But you know, your look doesn't look like exactly. the sound that comes out exactly. of you, exactly. See, and when I- I'm when I'm speaking to my rap voice, yeah. it's a big transition, and uh, I guess the judges love that, yeah. So they sent me, they're like, okay. We had a number. I still have it taped to my bedroom. Um, and they'll send you to another room where this time they record it and they'll send it to the producers. And then Simon Cow, Terry Crews, all them. All them. Mm. And then they're like, they stood up, clapped. It was, I was like, oh, this was good. Mm. Looking back, I was, it was just trash. It was just the image. It would sell. It would sell. <laughs> but it's dope, though. That, but it is very is dope. And we got a call. We story. got a call saying that they accepted. Mm. And they're going to fly me and my mom out to L.A. Mm-hmm. Well, this was a month prior before yeah, COVID. COVID. Oh. They could only change one. And then, I don't know if you guys remember, but they had the judges and then the uh, there's no audience. There was just 
people, cameras, and then the judges were somewhere else, like in their house. Oh, okay. And they could only do one person at a time because the venue was so small. Mm-hmm. And they chose the old dude who had a paper mask with a smiley <laughs> face on it with yellow body suit. That, that makes sense because they, they probably didn't want you there because you wouldn't be able to wear your mask and rap and sing and right. stuff at the same time. I mean, it makes sense. So have you thought about doing it again? No. Okay. Oh, you I see, should. I see a lot of the artists who are subjected to signing after that. And mm. if you see what they did for the performance there to what they are doing now, it's not them. One mm. thing in my years of doing this is I love to do what I want to do. Okay. So I feel independence is 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 I'm the artist. If gotcha. I don't have at least eighty percent of my creativity, mm-hmm. I don't want to be anything with you. I don't want to, and I'm not the type of person who want to get famous. I don't. My main goal in anything, if I if I, if I do end up getting a lot of money, is pay my mom's house off. That was always my end goal. That's dope. Get my mom out to slum because my mom was working three jobs. With, not even two months ago, mm. in front of the person who put clothes on my back and raised me. Right. Still be. That yeah, is man. the person I want to pay story. back. Yeah. That's the story right there. And I will never give up music. If it mm. don't work out, it don't work out. But me working with Clemmy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you Clemmy got, a dog, on, boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get you <laughs> right. dropped a heavy name <laughs> on this. You dropped a name <laughs> that's one of the goats in Toledo. You dropped a name that's, I mean, you got Violent Giant. You got, uh, man, I can listen. So, so speak a little bit about you working with Clemmy. Like, um, you don't have to go into super, super detail. Yeah, yeah. But Leave some stuff just out. tell me how it is, like how fun it is and like what you're learning from like a legend is, is him. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shout out to Chief too. That's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Clemmy first hit me up when I was, tra- like I said, transitioning. Right when you guys hit me up. Okay. Right after Never Die Drop. Mm-hmm. Okay. I sent that out and yeah. Donovan Corleone, one of my bros. Love him to death. He's part of the family. He uh, he sent it to him. Mm. And he's like, oh, I got to meet this kid. So he calls me up. And we had like a two-hour conversation about him getting me set up with DJ Drama's label. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you know what that is. It's called Generation Now. And they have mm-hmm. Jack Harlow, Lil Uzi okay. Vert, yeah. who is a, another step below Atlantic, gotcha. who they're all signed to. Or Interscope, one of the two. Mm-hmm. And he set up a meeting for me to go with them. This is before I fully transitioned, so I was still new to the songwriting. It wasn't as good as it and polished as it is now. When you say fully transitioned, you have to be more specific. Because I was just... still making rap music. Okay, I could you. never give that up. Yeah, but now it feels like I have to. I wouldn't okay. say that because well, you're a rapper. Yeah, yeah. and Drake does does it. And a lot of people does the rap and sing, but, and I, but he right. he had to rap to get into the game. Yeah, I get it. And then now, he did. but just like you said, though, you you have creativity. You have yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred independency. So always, I feel like always do both. I always, I always implement hip hop into my sing. If it's pop, like if if you notice, that's the one thing that sells is pop. Oh, yeah. yeah, pop so sells. One selling no matter if I think the genre, genre is corny. And that's the reason I didn't want to fully transition. That's the reason I'm still doing rap is because people are going to look at me soft. Mm. And I've always been the person like in high school where I ain't that person. Mm. Like looking at me, people would think it. But when mm. I transitioned to rap, it was always, look, I'm the shit. And now that I'm singing, it makes me look like a bitch. Mm. And so I didn't want to fully transition. But then I was like, man, I mean, this is my life. I know who I am. Yeah. Why do I got to appease people? Yeah. So I fully transitioned. And now I'm doing a whole album where i did everything Mm -hmm. and it's 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 good but now clemmy back to that subject okay so you know how i got i got fucked over on the covid once yeah well clemmy got me uh uh we're gonna go and meet logic and was khalifa because that's where the venue was at that we're gonna go it was in cincinnati or columbus and i was gonna get to meet logic which is i I love logic Mm -hmm. like i listened to him growing up I don't mm. think he's the best lyricist by far, but he he taught me a thing about cadence and flows. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I gotta meet this dude. Like, I didn't care about Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> I was like, I gotta meet Logic. Mm-hmm. Like, I love Wiz Khalifa. One of my favorite movies to have a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mac and Devin go to high school. That that's that, <laughs> I'm Ian Milanakis. Like, I always wanted to be that yeah. dude. And uh, that's funny. And uh, Andy Milanakis show. <laughs> Thanks for be my show. Bro. And um, I got COVID. Mm-hmm. Couldn't go. Missed the uh-huh. opportunity to potentially sign with someone that has 
uh, a hit list of artists on their labels. Yeah. And hey, everybody would have caught COVID that day. Yeah, I was, I'd have been there. <laughs> well, well, even if I didn't catch COVID, this is why I'm like not so mad about the subject is because their show got canceled. Mm. They found a bunch of weed on a tour bus or whatever, and some people got arrested, so they can't play the show. You said Wes Khalifa was there? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> of course. I was like, bro. What would you expect? Right. You should give him a pad. It's Wes Khalifa. <laughs> hey, do you remember when um when we had the conversation when I'm like, do you do you know who this guy is that just commented on your post and it was Clinton? You was like, no, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah. that's yeah. exclusive. You got to hit the I exclusive. Literally, I literally, I did, I did. I'm you sorry. see how I'm full circle, how everything <laughs> come back around, got to. Man. Hey, yo, Clemmy, I, I wow. love you, bro. But <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in touch with the, the music side but in Toledo. Like you said about the rapping thing, like the cockiness and you, mm-hmm. you were thinking you're the best in Toledo mm-hmm. and then. You start to listen to some people. Mm-hmm. Once, uh, this happens to me every week. With I listen artists. to Clemmy and I was like, "Oh, I ain't shit." Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, I, I, I literally, I every, literally every told week. him like, because uh, he was because in the time, uh, it was literally like, "No, nah, I don't know him, but I still want to do what we talked about with 1983 the brand." Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "All right, bet." I'm like, "But this is who he is. This yeah, is what he do. It, yeah, this is what he's capable of." Well, my, like my thing is, my thing is to be loyal. Y'all helped me. I wanted to help. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Then when he explained it, I was like, "Damn, put me in a rough spot." I didn't know if I wanted to work with Clemmy. Yeah, this, but that, that's us still helping you. Like, yeah, that's, that, the and that's, what, that's why I love this brand. This, yeah. this is I, but a family. I, but did I yeah, not tell? Sure. What did I tell for you sure. to do? Do it. I did for sure. <laughs> I said, See? I said, listen, we always gonna be here, but mm-hmm. do yeah. yourself a favor. Do yourself right. a favor. Yeah, Clemmy yeah. is a better option. Mm-hmm. We can't oh, yeah. provide what he can provide. Yeah, you know, national. At that time, yeah, maybe yeah. I should say mm-hmm. at that time. But yeah. have you? Uh, I don't. Know, I don't know if Clem told you, but do you know the backstory of how you know the Rockefeller whole situation kind of happened with him? Mm-mm. So him and his boys don't went. Get, don't get this wrong. Yeah, I'm say. not gonna get it wrong. <laughs> him, and his fact boys, <laughs> him and his boys went to a concert. I want to say it was in Columbus. It might have been at Ohio State. I can't remember exactly where it was, but I've heard this story. This orange, couple this people. apple juice, by the way. Yep. So, <laughs> So long story short, uh, Rockefeller was supposed to perform. They, they were kind of late. So while they're waiting, I guess the DJ or somebody was going around and was just like handing people the mic and just letting people freestyle or whatever. So they freestyling people in the crowd. Da, da, da. So the people that was with Clem, like, yo, you need to get on the mic. They know that Clem is, is, is dope. So they like, yo, you need to get on the mic. So long story short, he ended up getting on the mic. And uh, Benny Siegel ended up kind of hearing him. Benny Siegel freestyling and they was like oh yeah so like after the show they you know exchanged numbers and all that kind of stuff and that was like the beginning of of the whole you know that's dope rocket. That's, yeah, it was crazy talk about being, so at, being the right at the right place, place at the right, right time yeah and that's going back to like even if you do um america america got talent again and don't make it or whatever but sometimes being in the right place you never know who's in the crowd or never know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so. that, that's the only reason I think I'd go back is for the recognition. Yeah. And mm-hmm. if I do get any label offers, I just, I want to make sure. Like one person I never signed to is Def Jam. They've had so much struggle of not paying artists. Like there's a whole mm-hmm. article out and I'm like, I don't want to be that person. Have you, I was about to say you, bad uh, boy too, there was, I didn't want to sound There was another <laughs> label that that uh, approached you. Um, Red Bull. Yeah, when I was... When oh, I was I 14 years that. old, I forgot uh-huh. about that. Go Red ahead. Bull, it could have been fake, could have been not. It hit me up in my <laughs> email. It, it definitely probably was fake. <laughs> but it, hit, it hit me up in my email, and I don't know if you guys know how like record labels work, like, but they'll pay you for each project. Some pay, pay you for the albums you put out mm-hmm. instead of just paying you for like a five-year span. So they hit me up, and they said something about five years, and they'll pay me like, I forgot how much it was. It was probably like 50000 or 15000 something like that. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, I'm 14. So that number looks pretty good. Oh, that yeah. number looked amazing. <laughs> that number that's, looked amazing. Five years. Right. <laughs> but I talked to some of my buddies who are in music. I've I've known this doodle a, a long time named uh, John Q. I just talked to him about he's a DJ over in Florida. Okay. He's toured with, uh, I don't know if y'all know who Hobson is, mm-hmm. but he's toured with them. He's toured with like, He's a big DJ, does okay. everything, and um, part of uh, down in Orlando. And he told me that it was probably fake because they'll never contact you like that. Because they literally sent me a PDF file mm. of oh, like the okay. contract. And you were a minor too, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they, and they yeah. said you can sign it, 
Yeah. And, but I've been approached now. I've been approached by many fake record labels. Mm. Which right now I'm not Scams. appeal. I'm not a yeah. I'm not appeal to record labels. Like I, it's you, just not appealing to. Can me. you make sure that 1983 brand is not in that category? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your 1983 the brand. They, they cool. Sure. They, they cool people. They yeah, don't yeah, know what it we is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We are. We've been called. We've been called a fake label. Oh wow. Chill out. No label. Somehow we still people people money. Man, we are not thirty dollars. Oh, wow. I'm here because they caught me doing Bruh. some shit on my webcam. They made me come here. Yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get down or lay down. Get down or lay down. Feels like death row. <laughs> death row records over here. Goddamn it. Death. I'm like, yeah, stay here. But I've been approached but this by you yell up there like, shut your eyes and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's stupid. It's the apple juice. It's the apple juice. <laughs> man. But yeah, man. But every, you don't have a life, though. But yeah, yeah. keep going. Though. How old are you now, though? I don't, how old am I? Yeah. I'm 20. See, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you got, you got I got a long way to go. Yes, sir. I got a long a way to thing. go. You probably yeah. won't get time, signed to you like 40. You think so? No, I'm just thinking. I was thinking, <laughs> of, I was thinking of two chains. <laughs> <laughs> man. But every every record label, fake record label is the same. They're gonna approach you in your email. Mm-hmm. They're gonna say your mastering isn't good enough. And they're gonna this say, Hey, you pay me sixty people. bucks. You pay me so if if a real record label is, wants to talk to you, they will call you. Yeah. They will send someone to call you. It's not gonna be a people uh, you're never gonna get approached by the record label's owner or co founder. Yeah, you will sense. never that so, will, so, that will never happen. So people, when y'all get these messages in your social media that saying, um, I hear you. I see you working. Yeah, from oh my god. I see you working. Uh, how Yo, much money? How much? How, 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 yeah, how much money you got? You know, what I'm saying I promote your music for x x amount of dollars. Mm-mm. People run other people's social media. People. People yeah, make other careful. people's social media. That too. It's real scammers out here. Bro. Listen, you can be verified. Being verified. So yeah. people can pay for a verification too. Yeah. People can pay for followers. Mm, yeah, I've heard like. Some people like pay into some shit for them to get their shit pushed, and it's like, I don't, I've never done why, that. Why, like, somebody charging a dude, like, oh, yeah, pay me $500, I'll get your, get your music mm. down to this and, right. and spins and all this other crap. And it's no like, matter who you guys promote it to, if it's, if it's not an actual promoter, all them views you just paid for, you're not gonna get paid for them because it's no. all bots. Yes, mm. Spotify is gonna recognize that and be like, oh, shit, and you could possibly get your account terminated. Yeah, like so there's been times where I was really keys, young. Everybody, the, yeah, these artists is watching. And, and if artists are listening, one thing I gotta say is since I've been working with Clemmy, I've had a bunch of people hit me up. And I love Clemmy. I don't think he'd ever do anything wrong to me, mm. but I never knew about certain things in the industry. Yeah, get your copyrights because what y'all put on <laughs> Distro Kid, that's not all your money. Some nope. say some dude that's bigger than you gets on Distro Kid, puts a song out using your beat. If mm. if that dude is signed with the label. They will if any if you try to sue them, it's just it's just on digital. You don't got no paper in front of you. Mm. So everyone go to cop copyright.gov and set up your copyrights through your the beat with your voice on it and lyrics. So if they do copyright you, because if you don't have that and you don't have that piece of paper in front of you, a record label, their attorney is gonna destroy you in court. These are major keys right here. And they can they can get you if if that artist is bigger than you and that song is selling and yours is not. Guarantee you that copyright's gonna go to them. Yep, because I've seen it happen a lot of times. That judge, they know that judge automatically. Mm-hmm. 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 Like one of my buddies, Abstract. He's a he's a big artist. I don't know if y'all know who Ruth B is. He was the first one to ever do the song Neverland. Okay. <laughs> you know, I am a lost boy from the. He was the first one to ever do that with her. Mm-hmm. Then she got signed over to forgot where it was. I was a. Uh, Interscope, I think it was. She got signed. Oh, Atlantic. It was Atlantic, it was Atlantic. Yeah. And they signed over to her and they took that song because that song was popping at the time. I think his song has uh, like 500 million on YouTube. And they seen it was popping. And now what does that song have? Like 1.1 billion mm-hmm. from promoting with real people. And some new dude, a UK artist named Prince, mm-hmm. just took that song and put it on his platform. Well, he since he's backed up by a, a label and abstract is independent. Even though Abstract has billions of views, he don't have a label who has major connections. Yeah. So whatever you're doing independent, it's mm. so much harder because yeah. it's only you. You could have connections, but you don't have the money that labels do. Yeah. You're one artist. Mm. They are 30, 40. Yeah. It makes sense. What's the what's the most 
What's your highest amount of streams? Uh, on a song? Uh, Can I check my distro kit? <laughs> take your time, bro. Just, uh, just Viz. On Just Viz? Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the artist itself. Okay. Visionary, the vision scary. I know they hate it. A sharp shooter, the sharp as they make it. Ah. Follow. Whatever. Follow you. But go ahead, do what you do, make it work for you. I'm ten toes standing on the earth soil. Cameraman, I can even spit a verse for you. Party plan, and I'm nice with the clippers. We the brand. My most views on one song was my song Anxiety that I made when I was 14. And it has seven, seven, seven million eight hundred twenty thousand and twenty five streams. <laughs> yeah. So if you can elaborate on that, um, on the money side, so people understand that when you have seven million streams, it's not a dollar a stream. No, no, it's, it's not. So Spotify where is where you're probably going to get the most pay from. Which isn't a lot. Mm. So, combining all my streams together, I have a total of almost twenty-one million. Okay. And I have only got—I really don't care about this. I've only gotten paid twenty-nine hundred dollars of that. If you do that money, it adds up to a lot more than twenty-nine hundred. Every mm. million stream, every time you hit million on, let's say, um, Spotify, mm. every time you get that million, it should equal out to around thirty-five hundred dollars. Mm. And all these streams are before I got my copyright. Mm. So they take a lot of that. And this that kid, too. And what else? The other thing we told Cuts you. a thing. Remember we told the other thing. I don't want to say it on air. BMI? No. Nah. What? I remember, ended up setting that up. Remember too. when we first met you and you were saying how much your streams and how much money we kind of figured out like you was like the copyright and stuff and then like the getting beats off of YouTube. Oh, producers. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't buy a license, some producers will let you slide. Mm-hmm. If they see that you're getting clicks, but it's only after a certain amount of clicks. Mm-hmm. So say my song 15 was one of my biggest songs. Um, it it got to a total of 700,000 on Spotify in a year. Um, I got maybe 1,200 bucks off that song. Now it's at. Total or quarter? To- Wait a minute. Do you get paid quarterly or do you get paid just one time? I get paid quarterly. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so now that song has 2,135,669 streams. I've only seen about 1,300 bucks of that money. <laughs> so that's 2 Rip million. Up. If you uh, take uh, it, that is $3,500. Yeah. That's $7,000. The thing is, I think that, um, Actually, I don't think Spotify is the one that pays out the most. I think Title does. Title? Okay, yeah. I haven't set up my stuff yeah. with Title. Title. I, I think Title pays out more, but still, it's still cents yeah. to the penny. It's zero point yeah. zero 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 one <laughs> that's on Spotify. Crazy to think about. Cents and if you to think the about penny. that, that's a lot of fucking zeros, <laughs> and not in front of the number. You didn't even get to the penny yet. Right? Get to the penny. That's the bro. Like yeah. when I first, but but as making an uh. Making money when you're younger doing this, like I, I made a bunch of money before I was I turned 18. Okay. Like I haven't seen as much money as I used to, because, like I said, I'm really good with song lyrics. I can make people think about what I'm writing. Mm-hmm. So when I was younger, I was talking about my struggles with my mental house, my yeah. living situation, Anxiety. drugs, yeah, we don't get it. Yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, and <laughs> shit, people love to be sad. People yeah. love it. People enjoy it. I call it the Mary J. Blige. <laughs> and, yep. And. I don't want to do that no more because I don't want to be sad. Yeah. If I'm going to write stuff, like I like I told him, I got to get in the mindset when I'm writing. Yeah. I have to listen to music. I have to be like, all right, I can do this. This dude does a three-bar system, and then he'll go into the actual chorus where he'll repeat it twice and put it off with a pre-hook. Mm. Or they'll mix it around. So mm-hmm. like when I was writing the R&B song, I was listening to a bunch of... Um, Jason Derulo or Usher or uh, Neo yeah. or I would find underground artists. And I'd be like, mm-hmm. okay. So I repeat stuff and just make it replayable. Yeah. So that's why I got all I got is you. And then I just repeated it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And usually I'm not used to songs like that because in, in the sense of repeating stuff, if you notice the same people repeat stuff mm-hmm. in the songs, it's Usher, Justin Bieber, Jason Derulo. It's all just the same chords in a song yeah. develop in a different way. Yeah. And then just 
talking very vaguely about something like, oh my God, girl, I love how you got two arms and <laughs> your eyes are blue, green, brown. Like, <laughs> like, all these colors. It's, it's all that. It's yeah. subjectifying. Mm-hmm. And I don't, mm-hmm. I didn't want to write a song like that. So I didn't. So I blended just Viz into it. I rapped mm-hmm. in the beginning. I transitioned really sweetly. And then I put a big, big giant chorus. And then, um, I didn't write a verse too. That song took a long time to make. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was supposed to have um, uh, that girl on it with me. Oh yeah. Um, oh. Wow. Oh, God. What is her name? Uh, Anaya. Uh, what's her name? She performed at the Black Ella. Did she? Or no, she did open mic. Alana? Was Alana? Alana, yeah. yeah. Alana. Alana. Oh, yes. Alana. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was going to say. Because we were supposed to do the contest. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, we ended up changing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Y'all that. ended up changing it because you know I was going to Y'all! No, nah, bro. No, <laughs> hey, it was. Hey, we ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was about to say, let's tell you what really happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was saying. Yeah, hey. I was ready, but, you know. <laughs> Your but, crew was decent. Uh, we have a question in the comments for you, yeah. though. It says, how are. How are some ways you uh, you separate yourself from other artists, from Arthur Chris Bishop? Oh, that's a good question. He's white, goddammit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's the appearance. Um, so hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. And, go ahead. No, answer. No, nah, I'm just playing. The way I separate myself is in every song, I like to put a personality trait of mine in there. Whether mm. it be funny or whether it be real, I don't want to. Like when I, like this past year, I haven't been listening to no music. No one else's music. I don't. When I go to work, I listen to like Dave Chappelle stand up comedy, cool. or which I can't watch anymore because he only has like what six specials. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't listen to music. So if you ask me anything about the new wave, I can't tell you. And that's because I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Mm-hmm. I just want to be like, okay, I can do it this way. This sounds good. Let me put that out. So if you like, you can you can base me off of somebody. Mm-hmm. Guarantee that someone's white. Mm. Who does the same genre as me, mm-hmm. and that's like again. That's why I changed yeah, from yeah, rap, Eminem thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you look, if I if I if I just do like, I don't know how to explain this. My stuff is mainstream, but it, that's just the beat. If you take a look inside of my music, mm-hmm. you're like okay, this is him. This mm. is him. this isn't this isn't uh, who's who's popping now. Um, little baby, little baby. Um. Uh, Lil TJ, mm. Glorilla. Autumn, they can't, they can't, they can't put me in the box with them. <laughs> Glorilla. The way I write my lyrics is a very different from Man, a lot of people. I swear, she just scared of living. <laughs> <laughs> but the way I define my music is very different from a lot of people. The way I mix my music, that's why I love being my own engineer. Mm. I've learned everything since day one. I can Go. do everything myself. Cameras, mm. like I just did my, I just did my album preview, mm. and all you I did with that, that. You want me to get it? Was I super glued something to the top of the camera because I don't have a tripod that can like stick to my ceiling, mm-hmm. and or I took a tripod, set it up, and like put something in front of it so it has a little speck of range, so it gives it a bit of depth. Like I put my guitar in front of it and I put the focal lens on it and only mm-hmm. viewed my guitar in because my whole life, I feel like I've been out of focus. Like yeah. I've never been in anyone's eyes and be like, oh, he's appealing. Mm-hmm. So that that's what this whole album. But I was about to say when you did the open mic thing. I was First of all, the- hold on, I don't mean to cut you off because you do that a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh, we uh, far left. Uh, do you remember our first conversation? been so many of them <laughs> yeah. it was just one of the random inboxes you probably thought it was a, a fake label trying to send them a contract I, I did i did and then when you showed me the pool party it was the pool party you wanted me to go like perform yeah, yeah. one day Whoa. at the pool party and i was like man this looks like it's in florida i don't know if i can drive down there <laughs> I was like this place looks nice this isn't what i'm used oh, to it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. and after that we did never die yeah yeah and that was awesome. Yeah, that was very. I had I have so many people who like yeah, say man. that. Shout video out to the guy that played the piano. On that. Yeah, yeah. Dave push keys. <laughs> uh, did yeah. the day. But that anyway, was awesome. I, I was about to say um, when you did the open mic, you know, you came in and like you know with the appearance, you kind of look like a singer. You kind of look mm-hmm. like, but and it's, it's no disrespect. It's like me for the first time seeing Ed you. Sheeran. 
<laughs> yeah, it was, I was getting yeah. like little country you know, slash you wanna, pop. You know, you know, so the crazy though. thing yeah. is, I respect him. I'm sitting at the bar. You walk in, right? I'm getting country slash pop. So the owner walk up to me. He said, "So y'all got Jack Harlow performing tonight?" <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, hey, shout out I, to Bobby. Hey Bobby, hey. you dat me up that same night. Yeah, tell he me did. How good I was. Bobby, <laughs> uh, hey, listen, listen. Yeah, Bobby, listen. show love, bro. And after after that, after that, he said, "Damn, I can't even call him that no more." <laughs> He said, I got to call him by his name. Yeah, bro. Let me show love, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, was... so you kind of look like maybe country or pop is going to come mm-hmm. out. But then when you rapped, that whole place went crazy. You got to start, because... start carrying the guitar and then just bust out. Right. <laughs> yeah. That, All went... five of my guitars I can't play. <laughs> they went crazy because they just was not a, expected. Bring a yeah. prop rap, uh, prop guitar, yep. and smash it, then rap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll get everybody attention every yeah. time, bro. I feel like, we go viral, man. I can't, <laughs> I can't do this shit. <laughs> It'd be a TikTok challenge. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, hey, for real, you, you, probably, you probably should start playing the guitar since you say you that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro, make him probably. Oh, that's genius, bro. And that's you know what? Genius. I can't do that. I can't. Keys. I can't do this. So you I'm just gonna. Hey. I'm gonna do what I do best. Just one in the business. Mode. Yeah, it'd be like some man. I freaking suck, man. I freaking suck playing the guitar. Smash! <laughs> Yo, that'd be fire. I'm just saying. That'd be raw as hell. I'm just saying, that bro. would be crazy, hey, bro. Man. Hey. You want us to set it up? Man. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I want to get hit with a Hey, that'd be a great music piece. video. Yeah, 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 there was, there was, Jeez. I was actually scared for that open mic. Come on. I like it. I'm you were scared? I was scared of the open mic. I'm about to do what? More, hey, so wait, wait. wait. There was a I dude mean, in the just... back who was hammered as fuck. Was sitting next to your cousin. Uh, the one who did the rock star. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and A.O. Ray. Shout out A.O. Ray. Yeah. He was hammered. And every time someone like started, he'd be like, man, you fucking suck. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. My throat was dry and shit. I was like, oh, I'm about to get yelled at by the crowd. <laughs> I wonder who that was. <laughs> I saw him skinny, dude. He was super skinny. Um, no, I don't know. Oh, was this some, just some regular guy? Nah, probably, it was like it was like Cat Williams with a uh, buzz cut. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. He probably a regular. <laughs> Probably regular to and, the bar. Uh, Damn. He just liked to come there. Now I get a water. <laughs> I get a cranberry juice, please. He might have had one of them. Uh, what's the? What is it called? Give me milk. No. He might have had too much apple juice. juice. Like As well, yeah. yeah. Kind of get a milk in a dirty glass. <laughs> but I was scared. Hey, fun fact. I was about to say this. Fun fact. The re- remember the rehearsal. <laughs> rehearsal before the uh, gala. Oh God. Remember? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> with with. With this, yeah. remember at first he was kind of like, I don't know if I want to do this song. He kept wanting oh to switch God, songs, bro. and then it was like, we was like, no, you got to sing tomorrow. He was like, nah, I mean, it's a hard. He's song. singing. I is I think for me is when we went to the bridge, bro. When we went I, to the bridge, I was like, let's go. Yeah, bro. you got to do no, that. No, let's no, go. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> let's go. I love y'all hyping up, bro, but that was. <laughs> It was no, just, that no, was no, ass, bro. dude. I watched for, it back on someone's story, and I was like, "I'm out of key the whole the setting, time." The setting that we were in, bro. Oh. You okay? Let's go back to the gallery. Let's I think about so the gallery, so right? Uh-huh. Every song that was played that was from like that era, like or that R and B, people went crazy on. Like if you watch, if you watch the tape, when Everybody they heard you, when they heard the beat come in, they like, nah, no, he ain't. No, he ain't about to sing this Mario. <laughs> and they sit on the edge of their seats like, yeah, they ain't gonna sing it. They got the people thinking like, okay, he about to go Mario. <laughs> well, it's so weird because when I sing in a falsetto, it's usually that's where my vocal tone is. Mm. I can't hit high notes. I can't hit low notes. I'm a very mid-range stringer, singer. Mm. But when I hit the, I couldn't, I was out of tune and then I hit that high note and I heard someone go, oh, shit. <laughs> I, was like, oh, I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, hey, they always going to support you. You pick a good you, song, they going to support. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, hell, they all singing themselves. And I'm that's where you. that's where I need to learn is I need to do more performances with yeah. me singing because I'm very uncomfortable. Because hey, it's man, always and my working with Clemmy, he's going to get you together as far as stage performance. Oh, yeah, you're going to be next level. Bro. I'm going to get one of them freedom, freedom <laughs> chains. Yeah, man. <laughs> be lit. Next level, man. Yeah. So uh, is that yeah. your plan? Is that your plan to... Uh, be a part of Free- Freedom Thinkers Academy. Mm-mm. Okay. No, it's um, I'm not even planning on being a part of like the label he's trying to set me up with. Because if you look at it, I want I want to be in a label who. Wait, does he know this? Who? Clemmy. No, he he bought to though. Um, oh, and <laughs> exclusive. This is no exclusive. Whoa, this, anyway, this is too exclusive. That's why I was like, before you say no, like, everything else you want to say, I don't want no, us like, to get I, in trouble. I I want to. 
him. I, I would love it, him. and I respect him for doing it. It's just got to make sense. It's just got to make sense for okay. me. But if they promote just because Clem, Clemmy's a homie, I fucking love Clemmy. He's done so much for me. Yeah. But if it doesn't benefit me as a person and an artist, I'm not going to take the deal. Mm. I will never go anything that goes against my beliefs. That's good. I say that. I am I am always going to be my person, no matter how much money is shoved in my face. I mean, I've I've came from nothing. Yeah. So you like, you ain't you ain't it ain't nothing there. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't had it. So you no, I don't have it. And yeah. I and te- to be honest, I don't want to have it because I've seen money change people. Yeah, I don't want to be that person. So what if the contract um, consisted of a, a big ass house for your mama? I'm taking that contract. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I gotta record music videos butt ass naked. I'm taking that contract for my mother. There you go. My mom is my everything. I I, I will I will do anything for my mom. Yeah. That is one person in this world that I believe deserves everything. Yep. And I believe with the contract, I mean, still hear it out. You know, it, like you said, if, oh, you I'm get, gonna. if you get that situation where you have control, take that, man. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know. But look, just me looking on, like they have Sony Digital, Jack yeah. Harlow, Lil Uzi, none of them fit me. Yeah. So they're going to be like, who the fuck is this? Blake Shelton, <laughs> Justin Bieber kid, like it it don't fit me. Jack Harlow, like I got Jack, I got better curls than Jack Harlow, hundred percent. But Queen, say that but shit. that dude got so much confidence. Yeah. That dude is like he tall the shit white too, Drake, dude. Bro. Like that dude, yeah. like that dude has so much confidence. I could never do that. Like the like the part where he's like, "Why your hand shaking?" He's like, yeah, he's "Are like, they?" He's like, "Are they?" I'd be you like, "I don't know." <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like some shit. yeah, my whole body's shaking. Right, <laughs> but. Wait, That's man. he's he's he, they're great artists. Yeah. I love to be on them with them. Not so much Lil Uzi, uh, but uh, I'm sorry, I just don't like music in that type of sense. Like, yeah, you yeah. you're your own. Yeah, it makes um, sense. I just yeah. want to rock, rock, rock. And it's on fire though. That's yeah. gotta, it's, it's the beat, get man. You up, dude. It's a whole movement. Yeah. Yeah. They got the beat in the in the dance. I clean the bathroom the, to that. Yeah. Well, I said I clean the bathroom like a, to that. <laughs> everything is like a viral mm-hmm. thing as well because it's catchy. Yeah, it's catchy. If you notice, it's a lot. It's a lot harder for artists in the hip hop genre now to fall off. Like, like Lil make, Pump, he yeah. fell off fast as hell. But he that, didn't have TikTok. That was because uh, he came after somebody he shouldn't have came after, and that made a song about him. <clears throat> mm. Deville. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Deville, dude, Jayco, dude, he 1985, has some of the uh, What? <laughs> Yo, it, it, dude, <laughs> that's how he dangerous. starts off. J. Cole's <laughs> freestyle. Oh my. When he was promoting his album. Uh, there's one in line. I'm not going to say it on live, but there's one line in there that was like, I was like, that's good, but you going to get bashed on the internet. <laughs> you know wait, what I'm talking which, about? Which song about are you it? talking about? It, it, it was a freestyle. With J. Cole? Uh, yeah, with J. Cole promoting his album. Was it was it over the Uchi Wally beat? Uh, was no, it the I Bill Cosby it bar? I don't know. You got. He had a Bill Cosby know. bar in there, and I was like, "That's hard as shit." But you can't gonna, Twitter's gonna be on your ass. Yeah, I, I need to see it. Oh, yeah, it was man. it was good. It was really good. He's a, he's a very he's so good at lyrics. like, and I know people dick ride him, and yeah. that's fine. I mean, he J Cole. I mean, <laughs> bro, like J Cole is Wale is another one too. Lyrically, lyrics be there, but mm. people just be like, you know, I shouldn't say people sleep on it, but right, you know. Don't really get talked enough, but while they got he, he got some sneaky bars in there, you'd be like, okay, yeah. <clears throat> but there's there's a lot of there's a lot of shit in here that's like in the industry that I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this because yeah. I'll be I'll be I'm a I'll be looking at like TikTok TikTok take my time away, dude, and I'll be seeing like conspiracy theories on there, <laughs> like this shit, hey, and I'm like, hey man, I ain't, hole, bro. I ain't about to do this shit. whole rabbit hole. You <laughs> said they be like some scroll, scroll. scroll. Hey, man? I ain't gonna lie though, I think uh, I think Africa is on the other side of the Grand Canyon. That's one of the biggest TikTok things right now. Yeah. I, was I don't, say, think I don't even know that. what. Well, you know, uh, the Grand Canyons are no fly zone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they basically keep saying that the other That's side. That's probably where Wakanda is. <laughs> they keep saying on the other side. They got <laughs> on the other, They say on the other side is literally Africa. They keep saying that it really ain't, the world ain't as big as it is. So mm-hmm. I keep seeing this video. You know what I'm saying? It could be a shortcut. Dude, it could be a shortcut. I had a conversation with my dad two weeks ago. This dude was blasted. We just talking. You know how people get hammered. They get talking. This dude says, Kev. I was like, yeah. He's like, I think the earth flat. I was like, what the fuck uh, in your mind makes you think the earth flat? He's like, and he was like, 
He's like, one time I was looking at the sun and I seen clouds behind it. I was like, hold on, wait. I was like, why the fuck were you looking at the sun? And how did you see clouds behind it? Right, how you see past I was like, are you blind? He's like, no, trust me. I looked at it for like five minutes. And I was like, did you have on like three sunglasses? Like, what? <laughs> like, like, where is this going? I was like. Maybe it wasn't as bright as, you know, maybe it was like. <laughs> it was the moon. It, he was just so hammered too <laughs> like, that we thought it was the sun. Yeah. <laughs> maybe weird. it was still like, maybe when it's dawn kind of, you know, right before it gets dark. Yeah. No, but that was that was funny as hell when he said that because I was like, oh, you stupid. Like, why are you watching this song? <laughs> yeah, like well, you There's, got nothing. You had five kids, dude. Go make cereal. Or There's no way he could see anything past the sun after staring at the sun, bro. You that's know how you look away from the sun, you see this no, dot like, everywhere yeah, you look. That, that's, yeah. that, that was the cloud. That was the cloud, that was the cloud he was cloud. talking about. Yeah, yeah. a nice little shadow. I I, uh, I literally canceled a photo shoot before because I put my camera in the sun and I put my eye in the sun mm -hmm. and I couldn't see the rest of the shoot. Oh. Mm, like did I, you see clouds? I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> so That's my point. Clouds. I just saw red. That's my point. Wow. I just red. <laughs> Dot. Yeah, like, someone clipped that. I'm about yeah. to send that to my yeah. dad. Literally. Jason almost went Ray Charles. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of Ray Charles, let's get back to your music. So, <laughs> what is that? These <laughs> albums. I know you Segways. got anxiety. Oh one and anxiety too. Yeah. And the first one, you was, what, 14 when you came out with it, you said? I, I made it when 15? I was 13. I put okay. it out when I was 16 because mm. I just found it on one of my old MacBooks. And I was like, mm, my first thing in this kid. I'm like, put something out on it's Spotify. One of the to, you know what's crazy about that album? It's like you were talking about earlier, like, you know, people, how people love emotional music, like mm -hmm. sad music and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes that music sells so crazy is because they can relate. Yeah, Chris, yeah. Chris literally put it in the comedy. He said people eat that shit up. Yeah, like, yeah. For real. people, people do, people, especially across the world. So you might have somebody in Japan oh going God. through the most streams I was about to ask overseas. I have are overseas. Facts. Someone, someone told me that I could be the reverse BTS mm. because a lot, like my my top, my top, so like I just, I just hit um, uh, like I seen that I top charts, I topped the charts for Anxiety, my first album, and uh. I forgot. Uh, oh, you got to go do a concert. Over. I was Saint, literally about to say, bro. St. Vincent Get your passport, or something. Bro. Go do your concert. Um, and I was like, number 22. You're talking 22. about LeBron High School? No, it was like, it was a concert. Like, I'm big on the fact that like, if, if any artists are like getting hella streamed overseas, go overseas yeah. and yeah. find so a small boy, little Mark, spot. Man. Money bro, Mark, you know, yeah. the crazy thing is find a promoter that's over there that's doing it with yeah. the biggest DJ. Bro. Right. Let them know who you are. Show them what you got over there and they're going to they gonna make sure you this get is there. Mode, man. Look. Well, the crazy thing that to me is that a lot of these, a lot of these people reach out to me on Instagram, mm -hmm. and I had this one dude. He's like, bro. He's like, you like make my mood feel better knowing that I'm not the only one. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. over in some countries, that's like frowned upon. Like, oh, you mm -hmm. don't got mental issues. Like, stop that. Yeah. And it's relatable. And even crazy is that they take time out the day not to only text me. But run what they want to say through a translator mm -hmm. to and put it in so English it. to put me in. So I do the same back. Mm. That's mm. whatever it is they're That's from. Respect. I'll translate it, put it back, and they'll be like, "What the fuck? I didn't know you could do this." I'll be like, "Me yeah. either." Google, <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, Google is powerful, my guy. <laughs> and yeah. it, th that's really cool to see. But I don't, I don't want to be responsible for people being happy. You should. No one else should be responsible for your happiness. You like should you always get that happiness yourself. Yeah. You should be happy because of who you are, not because I make music about being sad. That don't make sense. Yeah, that's. But they were happy that someone they had someone they can relate to. Yeah, because sure. you got to think like over there, it's a yeah. different style of life. Like they can't go to anybody else about their feelings and yeah. stuff like that. But they listen to your music. They're like, I need to hit this dude. Like that. That's right. big. The that is that amazing. Was like, I'm gonna and find some of the dude. stuff that you were going through in that album. They probably going through right now oh, yeah. or went through it. So mm -hmm. it's relatable, you know. I love that I could be that voice for some people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it gets heavy because you're oh, expected yeah. to be like, maybe they think I don't because I still struggle with anxiety and depression every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a chronic anxiety disorder. I have chronic depression. I also have bipolar. So I'm very all over the place. That's why I am so I guess so good at different genres. Right. It's because I can switch my mindset. Mm. And but I don't want to seem like that sad artist mm. because people would be like, oh, like this dude's sad. I'm, I don't want to ruin my day. And I don't get how like I understand people not being alone in a sense. Mm. But just because you aren't alone don't mean it's going to save the problem. 
Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not. I understand having a, another person, and I I respect that. I thought I was alone in it too, until people at my high school started like killing themselves. Mm. I was like, maybe I don't have it that bad. What high school mm. you go to? Whitmer. And it's just well, not high school. Let me. Uh, I went to Washington, and uh, two girls killed themselves. Mm. And um, damn. Um, I was like, dang, maybe I don't have it that bad. Mm-hmm. So that's what made me seek therapy. My dad's always been the one whose mental problems aren't real. Therapists don't help kind of guy. Yeah. And my whole life I've been very hard headed yeah. to where if I believe something, yeah, I am stuck. never going to yeah. stop. Mm. And that's the way I live out my life. Like, I don't know. It's just sometimes it's not good. Cause you seem like an asshole, but a lot of times it's like you present more to yourself to the world, and I think people respect that. Yeah. For like, if I if I think something, I'm gonna say it, and I I love that about myself is yeah. that I don't care who you are, I don't care how big you are or what. Like, say Atlantic comes to me and they're like, all right, I I'll, I'll give you fifty million dollars. Like that's a lot of money. What's the catch? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We want your creativity. Nah, no. Yeah. Cause I've been in the struggle. I know what it's like to take bath water out of the bath when you it, the, it runs, but that drain don't work. You gotta take one of those one dollar ice cream buckets you get from Save a Lot <laughs> and empty that bitch out a hundred times into the toilet or out the window. Yep. Damn. I know what it's like for an open oven. I know what it's like to put ice uh ice in a water bottle, cut open the bottles and tape it to the back of your fan so you can get some air, air in. Yeah. Mm, I ain't never did that shit. I know, I, know like, I was creative with my shit. I hated sweating, dude. And, and from and from this day on, since on I got an air naked. conditioner, yeah. Since I've always lived in a top stair. Like I moved in with my girl in a while ago. This is two years ago. I moved in with my girl and her mm. mom. Her mom did certain things mm. that I'm not gonna say I'm live, but yeah. Girl uh, might be watching um, <laughs> she, she, I'm not going to say online. <laughs> I, I do the I do the air motions. Man. Yeah, right, right. They can't see that that fast. <laughs> yeah, we had 30 uh, frames a second. And that was a very down part of my life because my mom. I, we've always been poor. We've always lived in rougher places. Mm, yes. But my mom was such a good mom that I didn't know it. That's yeah. the great mom. Yeah, that that is the great me. mom. That's yeah, perfect. for sure. And I've always had. Like my, I have. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a son of eight kids. Jeez. I am the oldest, and I'm only twenty. My mom's only thirty eight. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. She turns thirty eight. How the year. fuck your mama younger than me? Got a shit of that. <laughs> I mean, my mom said she thought y'all went to school together. Which school she go to? Uh oh. I don't know. She went to a lot. Wait, did she go to Bowser? Turn your she head to the side have. a little bit. Jesus <laughs> called out. He got. <laughs> That's where that nappy ass hair came oh, from. Uh, <laughs> you do look a little tear. Hey, rewind that, man. We can't put that up. Hit the rewind. Sorry, guys. I didn't hear that. It's yeah, supposed no. to be goddamn Black History Month. You... <laughs> Fuck yeah, out of here. This is how you find out on your own podcast. <laughs> yeah, damn. I'm sorry you lied to you, Mark. Hey, Ma, you ain't getting that fucking house no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not gonna pull this shit out. Damn. How weak is he that? looks at the sun too. <laughs> <laughs> How you choose these boys? Hey, if, if your mom went to Bowser and uh, and uh, from uh, ninety seven to two thousand and one, then I might know who she is. Damn, ninety seven. That was one year old. I don't even know if Fuck I Fuck out of here, bro. I gotta get you back. Get you back. <laughs> well, them the good old years. Them late nineties, boy. Yeah, man. I want. I've been wanting to ask this. How How y'all know Rashawn McQueen? Bro, that's my dude, bro. Yeah, I met him through Nate. Yeah, that's my brother. Like, yeah. literally, I think, like, aside I love from... Him. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Didn't he just have a birthday? But hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, I was oh, just yeah. there, too. Hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Birthday, listen, right? though. Listen, though. So, Viz came out of nowhere. It's like, hey, is uh, Rashawn McQueen gonna be at the gala? I'm like, I don't know. Then a week later, hey, is Rashawn McQueen... I'm like, bro, if you ask me about this man <laughs> one more time... I think he was there for a minute. He, yeah, he, he stopped through for yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he stopped there to hug me and... And then after my set, was it like the hug off of um, Money Talks? I don't think when so. When he said the <laughs> hug like this, this was, was like, <laughs> no, it was more like a I miss you hug, but I oh, don't want to be too weird about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because nah. he was my uncle for a while. Like, that's what's up. My, uh, how long have you known him? I've known him. Did you know Marissa? That's the, yes, yes. No, fuck that bitch, too. Listen. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, and I, I met him. I met him. So wait, wait, wait. Now that Ray Sean's in the in the picture and he's your uncle, we can discard me, right? <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, still within go. the same realm, bro. Oh, yeah, man. I'm not old enough. I'm, He's actually the person who made me want to play piano. That's awesome. He taught me. He taught me a few songs when I was younger. Yeah, that's dope. and um, I I know exactly. He also how, had a drum set at. too. I know. I met Ray Sean. Um, one of the Sundays, Dave couldn't make it to service. Right. <laughs> that's and every just, Sunday. This Los is fr- me fresh at. It's Los probably Salem. because of Saturday that I spent with him. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm just and so probably I'm there. <laughs> Rashawn come up, you know, he dabs me up. He sits it on keys. Be Salem, it was Los Salem. Yeah, okay. He sits on keys. He plays whatever. We kill it for Sunday. And then he gets up and I get on piano. He's like, what, you going to take over? I was like, yeah, I got it. He was like, and then I started playing whatever, some of that talk music and whatnot. And he's like, why, why was I even here then? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like yeah, He literally too. walked off. He was like, so, man, he walked off. He had to go to his other <laughs> service. That sounds like it so much. Bro, and from that day forward, like, and me and Rayshon, I shoot, because we even know some people that makes us even go way further back, too. But yeah, that was a brother. So, you know, then. Junior. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That little badass kid. Bro, RJ. <laughs> hey, first off, <laughs> shout out RJ. No, you got to shout him out because he's going to be famous soon, hey, bro. Hey, yo, RJ, I hey, love hey, you, Hey, man. RJ, bro, we you, know man. you're going to be a quarterback here for Ohio State in the next 15 years, bro. You sure. got it. You just got to quit punching people <laughs> yeah, in know, the classroom. Bro. Hey, man. I dude, tell him that every he, time. Bro. Dude, he a badass kid. Bro, dude, bro. He'll come to my house and be like, bro, you need to sit your head down, stay strong. He'll be like, man, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but RJ is so dope. But yeah, I, I've known Rayshon. That has to have been yeah. Yo, that's Sean's my cousin. Six that's, years yeah, ago. that's my cousin. He's a good dude, man. He he. They they took me out on a boat. What yeah. a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. That was my first time yeah. being on something like that. Called, and I'm man. so glad, even though no he ain't. Sorry, he Marissa, like, his ex. I was salty as fuck. That man. <laughs> yeah, ex- I seen David's shirt blowing in the wind and shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're working on my, you know, crunches now. I was bigger back then, but you know now. Cigars was getting low. Oh, that's smart. my guy, man. I'm on the couch. But I don't know if I know who, who Marissa is. Do I know that, Marissa? That's the that's the that's the old. The that's old. my aunt that I have no respect for in this world. All right. Okay, yeah. Let's Be, switch because And that and that shit was fucked up. What happened to yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I, I don't I don't know these men. <laughs> yeah. yeah, shout out to Ray Sean, because man, first off, you gotta have one hell of a strong mental, bro. To deal and, with the shit he had to deal with. And even though he ain't with my aunt no more, and I, he's not legally family, mm-hmm. I'm glad he's with who he's with. Yes. And his life turned yes. out the way I'm it is. I'm so glad And for, for Sean, too. if you see this, I love you still like an uncle. Bro. The things you up. have done for my little cousin, that's I couldn't ask for a better father. Bro. That is amazing. Mm. How he can do that. And especially Junior. Junior's been through a lot of shit. Bro, I know. And especially like that whole situation. that Bro. Dude, I seen a picture <laughs> when, you know how she left again? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I seen a picture of her in a bar. I was like, that is a fucking WWE wrestler. That is not my aunt. <laughs> All right. This is getting kind of. Oh, my. It's God. the big show. <laughs> Ready to rumble. She was wearing shorts and a hoodie it in 30 degree weather. It is officially 12 o'clock. It's after midnight. It's after midnight. Yeah, I need to get a button it gets for a that. a little crazy after midnight. Bro. Hey, man. Jeez. That's that's straight love, though, man. Yeah, Rayshon. Dude, man, we. That's the brother. And, dude, have you seen him on the football field, bro? Who raised Once, a while ago. We, we can't really see him as much yeah, of because course. of certain yeah. situations. And I respect him oh, course, so much for it. Course. I do get to see him when he goes to my grandma's house. Dude, and that's amazing to see him. We played flag football. It had to have been two I summers ago. I do fast. Two summers ago. This dude <gasps> caught the ball and took off. I was like, I ain't gonna do that. hey, yo. I didn't want like, to. I, didn't I want still to got it. RJ see came me. out there, too. Oh. I was like, some <clears> tough. I don't know if I remember. Dude, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's crazy though. That's I didn't crazy. know it ran that far deep, bro. But yeah. now I know it makes, sense. Mm-hmm. it makes sense. I've been there since the get go when I first. I, I literally met them like met him like a year into the or not even a year, probably a week yeah. in the relationship because he 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 used to put his drum set in my grandmother's garage. That's crazy, bro. And I used to go when he when he would leave, I'd like drums, yeah, drum play set. drum set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be loud as shit, and I didn't know what to do. I'd be like, Step boom, brothers, don't touch my drum set. Yeah. Yeah, going step I'm gonna call me yeah, Ray. I'm about to go on the garage for my nutsack on your drum set. <laughs> step Keep brothers. playing with me. <laughs> but um, it's Shark Week, and it's crazy because <laughs> talking about Rayshon again. So like after I met him through Los Salem, um, mm-hmm. I was playing for an artist, and I hit him up because like the artist was switching out his band members. Yeah, and I was like, some yo man, I know a dude that you know will kill. And I was like, some let's get him, and so he came over to the crib. Um. And played, sat in a rehearsal. And I was like, okay. And then we did a show together. And then that band changed and then changed again. And now he doesn't even play with that artist no more. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> my girl just texted me. She said, hey, yo, grandma watching. She seen what you said Uh-oh. about my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Stand on his couch, bro. Hey, hey. Shout out to Granny that slept past midnight. Black history on the way live, baby. Hey, y'all goofy, bro. Uh, man. No, nah, it's funny till she beats the shit out of me when I go home. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> hey, we gonna, we gonna nah, no, nah. we, we on we on mutual levels on that situation. Okay. Very mutual. Good, good. But back to music. I mean, what is this? <laughs> I guess. Do you have any questions for us though? We'll talk. When did y'all start this brand? What made y'all want to start this brand and uh, help? Everybody the community? always loves. Wait, 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 wait. Can you repeat the last part you said? And help the community. Oh wait, wait, wait. say that. Question. Say that one more time yeah. for the people in the back. What made people y'all don't know. Want to start this brand and help the community when no one else would. Hey, you ruffling a lot of feathers over there. No, I, like, yeah, God, you, I, you I don't. My cash app is not. You walking <laughs> heavy. No, I'm just playing. Oh, uh, so you want to you want to Jay? You want to start with the history? Uh, the- not even really the history, because I think the the biggest point of it was when did we want to start helping the community? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Um, I think for us, it was just something that um, the community helped us. Mm, that's a great answer. Um, you know, there was things that was provided for us as youth. Yeah. Um, from church. To the Boys and Girls Club. I mean, I went to Camp Big Silver probably like six, seven years in a row. Like, they knew me first name, last name. Mm. They knew my mom. They knew my dad. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go to bed when everybody else got to go to bed. Type, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it was that um, from just uh, doing different things from church to um, building a bond with my brothers um, and, and watching – the older generation, I should say, uh, in a sense, give back and in the way that they would give back. So we just decided to do the same thing. Like, I mean, God put us in a position to be able to do that. So it's not hurting. It's not hurting us to give back. So right. why not take advantage of it? Yeah. Right. You know One of the biggest things too, um, to add on to what Jason's saying is that like you get a lot of events, mm-hmm. generally speaking around here. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's like, then comes the question okay well you got to pay tickets prices and stuff mm-hmm. like that where's this money going to yeah. and like right. and that, that's why for us it was like so man i know how to get money yeah. they work jason work jason got too many jobs <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like we know how to make money so it's not about the money for us yeah, right. and, and that and i when we did the gala the first year that's when we wanted people to understand that and that's how it was so listen man productive like, and def- and bro the first gala, so the first people. gala, we was like in double negative. Bro, we lost. <laughs> Put the mic down. Hey, hey, we didn't. The thing, think of it is, we mentally prepared ourselves to lose. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. you got to think for 10, 10 months we planned it. Yes. So ten months we were reminded we're gonna lose this money. Hey, <laughs> we're hey, gonna lose we, even I, more. We money. said, we yeah. said, we about to kill this shit, but don't think we about to make nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's that's how we started it. And even for the second one, like the one you were in and yeah. you opened up for. There's it. It so like, many the people there. Bro. Yeah. And let me tell y'all, they go through a lot setting that shit up. Bro. I was there in the process. Yeah. yeah. They, they don't see that part. They don't see that part. They they wanted me to set up the chairs. <laughs> we had to take a ruler and do it like <laughs> one inch from the seat. So it's perfect. Like, <laughs> I mean, for that venue, we had to be perfect. And, that, and that's the other thing too. Like um our venue choices are not was usually overused right now. Mm-mm. Oh my god! My mom took me to the gala, right? I didn't know how to like. We, I was guiding through Siri. I don't know if y'all seen us. I was so scared y'all was gonna see us. But the gala over now. So, um, <laughs> my mom drove through. You know the end where like the building kind of falls off and the yeah. like, skylight. You know that little roadway. Mm-hmm. We thought it was a road. There's a golf course, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a golf, and that that leads to the patio, which falls into, into the, golf the rocks. Course. Yeah. <laughs> My mom drove to that. And we got stuck. We had to back out of it. No, we uh, ain't see that. <laughs> now that we know. Yeah. So that would happen. That's right? why they called no, the police on us. That's probably why they <laughs> called the police on us. Why <laughs> they like being loud and crashing cars yeah, on the golf yeah, course. Yeah, you know what I mean? They literally was like, hey, you guys are too loud. <laughs> we yeah, gta uh, this shit out of that gallop. <laughs> So, on, the so. white people. <laughs> <laughs> We're the ones to get in trouble. We get in trouble for y'all shit, goddammit. Black history. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but no yeah and that like touching back to the fact that you know we don't do this for the money we don't do this for right. the clout we don't do this for what's going no on. no right you don't do this for no hidden smoke and mirrors or any hidden agendas and stuff like that right. just the same that you want to stay true to yourself because of your love for the art it's the same exact thing for us that's and well. a lot of people don't know that do not understand do it they, they even if we tell them they're like <laughs> really even with right. our, even with our 19 through the brand music contract bro even with the contracts it's like oh so what, what did do I you guys you get one? out of that i sent you one didn't i of what a contract from 19 through the brand you said you were gonna print it okay i never sent it but you had one with your name on it yeah and it's just like you can frame it yeah <laughs> <laughs> make sure you sign make sure you get it you take a copy of it sign it and give it to us too. yeah 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 <laughs> so we can frame it too put it here somewhere with 100% creativity right. on the background <laughs> right. we don't we don't want nothing <laughs> and, that, and that's the other thing too bro we don't want anything the reason why we do this is literally to get those that aren't given the platform yep. right. the actual necessary tools or one the push the knowledge cuz you know <laughs> balanced life requires knowledge Hey, you got to drop an exclusive sound on that. You're you going crazy today on me, Nate. <laughs> My mama in the chat. Yeah. I love you, mama. Yeah. But yeah. Shout out to Jason's friend. What's your mom name? <laughs> no, Chilling. Hey, but. Um, Bruh, you know I got to go upstairs after this. <laughs> <I'm just messing laughs> <with you. laughs> but the this piggyback. This looking comfy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> to piggyback off of both of them. I can like, kick these uh, legs out there. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Ahead, to uh, piggyback on both of them. Uh, well, do I pause after I say piggyback? No, nah, you good, bro. You good. Who, who you good. piggybacking off? Yeah, <laughs> I said both good. of you guys. Uh, whoa, that sounds bad. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. So anyway, um, you know, it's like you said earlier. You come from that ghetto. You come from that mm-hmm. hood to where you know, at the beginning. You didn't even know that you were living bad because your surroundings made yeah. it great for you. So right. that's what we're trying to do as far as give back. You know, like when we did the help feed Toledo, one of the um, biggest perfect. compliments that I've heard since we've been a part of the brand was when um, I can't think of the lady's name, but when um, help feed Toledo, yeah, Barb. Barb when Barb Kovacs. told us mm-hmm. she was so. She appreciated us so much because nobody never gave to her. And she, we were the she first. She spends out of her pocket. Bro, she she gives, spends out of her she, pocket. She works at the hospital mm-hmm. umpteen hours a day. Yep. And then after her That's shift dedication. at the hospital, mm-hmm. she drives this van to that to that church spot we and went to. Small church. Unloads everything by herself. When we, and then picks out the rotten stuff because she ain't gonna give you bad food. Beautiful person. Beautiful, beautiful right. person. Because I'm one there, of them people getting them food. To the Friday when I was living like that. Every See? Friday, yeah, we'd go down to the Full church circle. on LaGrange Street Full and we'd get, it would be like, how many kids you got in your house? Yep. We'd be like, uh, it was four at the time. Say four, we'd get those lunch bags and that would last us three days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so like, and, and the reason why we chose them this past year was because we went to the pantry too. Mm-hmm. Like, I know, yeah, I know what it was like carrying. A five gallon pot of hot water up a flight of stairs to mm-hmm. put in the tub because we ain't got no hot water. I knew what it was like, and it's crazy because just thinking back to it, like um, candlelit dinner because we ain't got power, but you mm-hmm. don't know that mm-hmm. the guy the the electricity is off, but we are gonna light the stove with with the lighter. Man, and so it's like <clears throat> and that's why I was like, man, and I remember getting, uh, you know, even though they tried their hardest, but still getting a bad head of lettuce or 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 some mold on a piece yeah. of bread and stuff like that that you get from the pantry and stuff. And I was just like, don't throw that away. Right. Cut that <laughs> yeah. off. Save that for later. Rinse that off. <laughs> Rinse that. <laughs> that, that lunch meat ain't hey, bad. These, these mouths gotta go, eat, bro. Go make your immune system stronger. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. And it's like, and that's why I was like, so man, let's go with them this year because I knew yeah. one we were gonna do it bigger than the first year. And the first year was already phenomenal in itself. And shout out to uh um Tremaine, because we he yeah. shoot, even backtracking it for that too. Bro, with the program Inc., like I've been in programs like that that helped me stay focused and get mm-hmm. to where I needed to be right. mentally, at least. And but yeah, and that's that's and it's so important. It's that's important. amazing. Yeah, bro. And also networking is another thing, you know, that we yeah we do because you know connections. You talk about connections, like you know, I got a few from the show. Twenty three T Diamond, I think his yeah. name is. Yeah, yeah. T yeah. Diamond, yo. Yep. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you uh way. when you performed at the um at Gala. the open mic. Oh, the- no, was it the gala? I think he was only there for the gala, right? No, he came to the open mic. But it was a gala. He came, he came late to the open mic, though. The gala, he texted me. He said, bro, 
he a star. Mm-hmm. Bro, you ain't signed him to your brand yet? Mm-hmm. Bro, he a star. And I'm like, I forgot what I told him. No, I think I was like, where you at, bro? Because I ain't seen hey. him. <laughs> like, where you at, bro? Hey, he's not that hard to miss. <laughs> he's <a> tall. <laughs> they built. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's big guy. Like, he it's came up to me. Four. I was like, "Did I do that bad?" <laughs> Let me tell you something. Y'all gonna kick me out like this? <laughs> if Are you never security? Witnessed, <laughs> they didn't mean to drive on the golf course. If you never witnessed a song that would make people fight or get people Why hyped, you like a bring little that John. Up, this is like the fourth. Like a little. It was like the little John era, bro. right? And he came out with this song called. Haters get mad. Why are we breaking this song? Up? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is great times, man. Hey, man. Before we get up out of here, Viz, man, shout out all your social media. I am just Viz on, well, at just Viz everywhere except Twitter. That is just Viz Music. And I got a album called Anxiety Neverland dropping June 10th, 15 like tracks. It. Yeah. And it's going to be, it's going to be a movie. I like the anxiety, uh, what do you call collectives that you're doing? You know, one and two. Anxiety sales. Yeah. And it's real. Yeah. 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 You, you talk some heavy stuff. On heart, your, though. Oh, yeah, I do. So make sure y'all check that out, man. It's my boy, Just Viz, man. You know, check out his music. I appreciate y'all for having of me course, on. Bro. Hey, of course, bro. Really. Always, dog, man. Yeah, Y'all man. doing we great We appreciate you, man. And, you know, we proud of you and uh, giving you your flowers, man. You 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 one of these people that, that works hard, but, you know, a lot of people don't see because you're not. You well, know, on the forefront, but behind. I'm about to say it's yeah. not even that they don't see; they they still don't know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but so. people overseas know you. It's good. Yeah. Hey, that, hey first chance team. you get, bro, get over there. Yeah. Right. Do a whole show over that month. I got bro. to. Heck yeah, bro. But yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take a break, y'all. We're gonna be right back. It's your boy Dave Push Keys, 1983, the Black Room Podcast, Five String Nate, YFGJ, and my boy, the rapper, the singer, the whatever you want him to be on the on the track, just Viz. Make some noise. We'll be right back. Thank you.